When I was diagnosed in 2003, I was so fortunate because I had incredible support from family and friends. Later on, I became increasingly concerned about other patients who might not have the same support services they need in order to undergo treatment, critical resources. So with that in mind, Alight was founded in 2005 as an official nonprofit under the guidance of my radiologist, Dr. Hilda Cardenosa. It is remarkable to me how my patients take adversity in a very positive manner and they decide they're gonna make something out of it. It's, it's difficult for them, but they're gonna be make, make it better for other people, so. At Alight Foundation, we really try to be the all-encompassing support for breast cancer patients uh, from the moment they're diagnosed throughout their treatment journey. I think Alight has helped us inform our patients better. They provide us with fantastic educational material, very expensive stuff given for free. Uh, which the patients really read and really appreciate. So when I was first diagnosed with breast cancer myself, I received the Alight material and I didn't know anything about the organization and in fact I didn't know anything about breast cancer um, because I was 43 and I was new in town and I remember so distinctly thinking how great that material was that I was able to open up a book that told me who the oncologists were in Greensboro. I had no idea. I didn't even really have a family physician yet. The great thing about Alight is that they're based at the Cone Health Cancer Center. They're there the minute we need them. If a patient expresses she's having a difficult time with coping, she's having a difficult time with friends and family and relationships changing, and she just really needs to talk to someone who's been down that road before. A light is the place where we can refer that patient, where she can be set up with a peer mentor. A light will give me um, phone numbers and information of patients that are, are interested in having somebody call them. They try and match us with um, age, uh, the type of um, surgery that we've had, whether we've had chemo, radiation, reconstruction surgery, and they try and match us with those so that once again we can listen, but we also really understand. Because you go through so much, like your body, your mind, your spirit, like all of that goes through so much. And so when you're going through that and you have someone that you feel comfortable sharing that with, who's been there, who knows what you're going through, and who supports you, it's a whole nother feeling. We really focus mainly on helping patients that have cancer. These women that have breast cancer that are going through treatment now. I was 41, so I got the, oh, you're young. And I kept thinking, well, gee, thanks. <laughs> that, that makes me feel so great. I still have cancer. I was going through the chemo, gearing up for radiation, and then I lost the job. So just all of that, and then having you guys say, you know what, it's gonna be okay. Come on, you need to work, come on, let's volunteer, let's do something, and we're gonna get you set up with the emergency fund. And Jill walked me through the process, took me down to the financial aid office, and like they took care of me. Like That was how I was able to kind of sustain and still take care of the prescriptions that I needed, still take care of the car payment that needed so that I could get back with some forth to that daily treatment. Without that, I, I don't know. I, I really do not know. I mean, I have patients who can't have no cars, can barely afford their bus uh, ticket, uh, certainly may miss a, uh, a payment in their, uh, in their heat or even their rent, and Alight actually helps these people. I'm so very proud of the strides Alight has made in the past decade. Now we're officially housed within Cone Health Cancer Center. We have a beautiful office space that's warm, inviting, where patients can sit in a comfortable setting, non-medical setting, and meet with our staff members. I think it is important that the Alight Foundation is actually at the Cone Health Cancer Center. So it's not that we're referring patients to some off-site need. We're really referring patients right there to our own cancer center, to our own patients that have experienced cancer care in Greensboro and know what those patients are going through. From the minute you hear you need advanced diagnostics to the minute you hear you have breast cancer, I feel that there's a lot of common fears and anxieties that most women share. And when you try and speak with family members or doctors, 
They may not relate in a way that a woman who's been in your shoes would. So coming to a light, it's really opened my eyes to how things have progressed. I did go to um, a support group and boy how different that was to 20 years ago. It was upbeat, informative. As executive director, I think one of the things that makes me so proud is when people in the community come to us and say, we've heard that you've been there for people that we know. Uh, we've seen it firsthand and we really want to partner with you. We want to um, have, have a fundraising event for you. That is so humbling to us. Um, we, we get caught up in our own world of helping patients and kind of being in the trenches with patients and that is what we're there for. Um, and it's just so nice when people notice that and we get letters from patients and their families saying, you know, that I don't think we could have done this without you. It's been really heartwarming for me, especially, to see how our community here in Greensboro and the area has embraced Alight and embraced our vision. The mission of Alight, I think, is hands-on. You know, you are right there with the patient at all stages of their diagnosis and treatment, and it's invaluable, and no one else is doing this. Being a survivor is freedom, and it's powerful. Like, I am a whole other level of free, and I am a, I, definitely 50 shades stronger than I was before.